Hi, this is a short video on altar making. I've just written a Kindle book and at the end of the video you'll be able to see how to get it. Altar making is a time-honored method of praying for someone or attracting for things that you want in your life or simply to be a blessing or a way to become more aware of the gifts that are happening around you. And time-honored in that all cultures do this and it's been going on for millennia and I like it because it's an active form and a creative form you get to um, literally shape the prayer shape the blessing with your hands so I'm gonna do a demonstration and you'll see how it works so I'm gonna let you take a look at um, what I'm doing as I'm making an altar I've started by just setting up this little table here and I've got a placemat here. Um, you don't need a placemat. It, it can be very simple, but for this illustration I will do that. Um, and you can use any objects you want, uh, and they have to have some meaning for you. These are two sandals, which I found out on the beach, and my beloved friend Leslie uses these and people all over the southwest use these to honor Santo Ninos who is the Christ as a child and they give little pairs of shoes to Santo Ninos and put them on their altars um, frequently people use candles um, some t I use rocks and things from nature virtually always in my altars so We'll see what we do here. We'll start with these two sandals and we'll add some leaves to honor, the red leaves actually honor one of my daughters. And, and then we can bring a picture in here, a photo of my other daughter. But we can see that this is all getting cluttered and I need to do it. But it can be almost anything like this and that can be quite simple. So you can see that everything is there and that can be a very simple altar and it doesn't need to be any more than that okay you saw a simple little altar being constructed and at the end of this video I'm going to show you uh, a more playful version but still sacred it's this is a Halloween pumpkin that my wife carved and it really honors the playful spirit and certainly honors Thanksgiving so it's a, it's a good illustration for this as well so um, a question you can ask um, who am I dedicating the altar to or how am, what am I trying to attract and attracting more playfulness is always a good plan but you can also ask is what part of me is creating the altar so the pumpkin altar was certainly created by Suzanne's younger self and it gives you a sense of that inner spirit, that playful spirit, reaching out into the world. So, after you see that, you'll get a chance to find out how to get the book. Happy trails, and thanks for watching.